This is the new Motorola Razr. This is Motorola's $1,500 Razr reboot. Remember the Razr from 15 years ago? That was the standard phone that pretty much, you know, everyone had back in the day before the iPhone. And instead of being a normal flip phone, it's a flip foldable phone. And it has a full touchscreen running Android. So now it's a smartphone. Now this phone has plenty to like. It's very minimalistic. It has some of the high-tech features that all modern smartphones have. But there are some drawbacks. The technology is still super duper early. You can feel bumps and lumps in the electronics behind the screen as you rub your finger across it. There is a noticeable sound when you open and close the phone, just the hinge mechanism opening and closing. And even though it's $1,500, it just doesn't feel super reliable. This could be a phone that works properly for six months or a year. So it's to be seen long-term how well this thing goes, how long it lasts, the ability to close it, put it in your pocket, your purse, your skinny jeans, and make it you know, very easily accessible. The nostalgia of having a phone that you can flip open and close. But the drawbacks of this just being a period where it's more accessible to pull your phone out like a normal candy bar phone and just start using it versus needing to you know, open and shut the display. The cameras are behind the times because of the thinness of the mechanisms in here. The hinge makes that noise. You can feel the electronics. So we'll have to use this thing longer term to really give it its fair shake. Uh, but at this point, it's very cool. It's one of the first true foldable phones, but I don't think that the technology is quite there yet, especially for $1,500. But we'll see where the future goes.